Hi, this is Dave Davies, HighFusion.com. Today we're looking at a 8-cell Stanley Meyer type unit. Uh, we have 15 and 15 and a half inch stainless steel 316L seamless tubes. And we have mounted it into a, a plumbing fixture that you can get from Lowe's. This is a, uh, a cap, 6-inch cap. We're using an acrylic uh, tube from Affordable Plastics, six inch, affor uh, 6 inch acrylic tube. And we'll look at the uh, construction here. You can see how it's wired. This is wired in series. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But uh, I don't know if you can see how um, it goes from the outer tube to the adjacent inner tube and then from the outer tube to the next adjacent inner tube like that ending up at the center tube and one of the periphery tubes okay uh, the key to this device is keeping the tube centered and um, if you'll see we drilled four holes at the top and uh, tapped them and then used nylon screws and uh, adjusted those very carefully before setting it up. Same thing for the bottom, which you can't see. It's below, uh, below the surface there. Then we use the uh, acrylic plate or circle. It's a disc. And we've just rolled holes to take the eight cells. One in the center, seven around the periphery. The unit, uh, really the key to it is two things. One, the electrolyte that we use, and uh, we're experimenting with a new nitrogen uh, additive. And the second thing we're looking at is uh, using a PWM, pulse width modifier or modulator. Uh, it's based on the Dave Lawton design, which was a modification of Stanley Meyer's design. And we're, today we're going to be trying uh, a Bob Boyce toroidal coil uh, and uh, a complete electronic circuit. It's all in the electronics. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how this performs. We haven't cre uh, done the top yet, obviously. And uh, I will talk to you later. If you're interested, call 949-545. 1195, and I'll tell you how you can get one of these or how to build it. Thanks.